Okay. So here's the latest setup that I've been doing uh, in the old back garden camping um, scenario. Um, this is a Heliberg Tarp 5. I'll put all the dimensions and weights and everything uh, uh, down the bottom or somewhere. And uh, at the moment I've just been uh, trying some different uh, setups with it. So um, currently you can see by the ground there are lots of leaves on the, on the ground. Uh, it's coming to the end of uh, well, late autumn, I guess. Uh, temperature at the moment is about 25, 27 degrees Celsius. Uh, temperature last night was about 10 degrees Celsius. So, um, and you can see I've been, uh, by the leaves on it, that I've been uh, using it for a fair bit. Uh, it's not an expensive tarp as tarps goes, and um, the purpose I bought it is um, as in a veranda or for or porch for my Heliberg or Acto tent, I should call it. I call it the ATK, but it's Acto. Um, and basically what I do is I put the tent down the bottom. You might have seen me do this in another video with a bigger, uh, a bigger tarp, um, a DD tarp. Um, so this is kind of really the smaller version of that. So the idea is that the uh, Acto will go down the bottom there uh, underneath it and then um, this will work as the front porch so I can sit outside. The Acto you really can't do, it's a four season tent, a one person tent and it's lightweight. You really can't move around so much inside it. Um, so. Um, being that in terms of hiking weight uh, there's not so much more adding a little tarp and I'm carrying the poles anyway uh, I don't carry the hammer that's just from another tent and you can see that I've just been sleeping so there's my woolly blanket um, and I've got a uh, jungle blanket and um, there I'll just go in and then I've got inside it I've got a you might not be able to see, I've got a Sea to Summit sleeping bag or sleeping bag liner. Uh, that's the heavy duty one, it's got a zip down the side and then you can see down the back there is Henry the cat who's decided this is the best place for him to sleep. So <clears throat> just stepping back a bit, um, you can see, well you may be able to see down on the corners so the uh, pegging points and the guy lines so i'm going to put it up later on i'll just put it up and show you what it's like uh, in its intended usage but this is uh in its uh, what we call rain setup here comes the other moggy that's matilda um so basically the hiking stick goes upside down and there's uh, on all of the tie down places there's these metal loops and uh, so you can peg them out and you can see one there and then back corner and the same so i've got the uh, back um, hiking stick down short uh, it gives it you know at the foot end and um, and then just a slight extension on the uh, hiking stick on the front end and then the guy rope down to a peg and it's the same on the other side. So um, you can see the guy ropes there I've not used because um, down at this level, not needed. And um, one of the other things, I've got another little short tarp just on the ground that's folded in half. Uh, it's just to keep the ground difference, but I can spread that out. Um, so what you can't do with this, well, I haven't figured out how to do it yet, uh, is make a small uh, enclosed tent out of it you can, like you can with a DD tarp should it be raining um, but as I said with the Acto in the back um, I found that having the Acto without the inner in it uh, makes a really good shelter so uh, and then I can put the ground sheet in the Acto and then I can also put the bathtub in it, um, inside you can get a fly mesh fly for this as well um, so it just raises up and that's got a little bathtub in it, I think. Um, but 
at the moment that's not really what I need. I, um, for keeping the bugs out, I have a, um, a mesh net that just goes over my head. You know, it's quite comfortable. It's like ultra light, it's a couple of grams, 30 grams or something like that. So it does the job. It's tail end of mosquito season at the moment or sand fly season. Um, the ground's dried out, so not so many out during the night. Um, that's it for now I'll come back and set this up a little bit later all right so what I've done is I've just chucked this into the uh, uh, slightly more raised position <clears throat> as you can see the distance from the guy ropes the further out they are the lower the um, the um, top five goes and we'll just wander around so you can see now that there's plenty of room for sitting um, underneath it in the front um, doing whatever you need to do cooking your dinner and all of the other bits and pieces um, and you can also see that if you shorten the guy lines in or at least move the peg points in closer you can get the um, whole tarp to go um, a lot higher up off the ground so this gives a little bit of um, flexibility uh, just uh, in terms of uh, how does it pack down, um, I'm not sure if you can see it under there, but basically in that corner there, there's a small pouch that's part of the wall. The whole tarp just folds into that and it's quite loosely packed so it'll compress a lot um, smaller. Um, it's a relatively nice fabric, um, fairly smooth. It's the same material that the Acto tent is made of. Um, I think it's Kerlon Thousand or something like that. Or um, um, This is, you can see it's picking up a little bit of dirt because I've basically had it out in the hot dry uh, conditions for a couple of days now and it'll pick up uh, lots of leaves and everything. You can see where the leaves have been dropping off. So on the back, um, <coughs> the back is not as wide as the front so it's more squared off and and um, <coughs> I have the tent pole down lower, so you can actually just raise the tent pole up high as well um, and uh, give yourself some more space. Um, when I have it attached to my Acto tent, I have this tent pole, I think set to 125 centimetres, uh, which is probably about another third or half again, uh, as high as it is now. Um, so a couple of little things you'll see is a little bend in the middle. So there's a little bit of tension between the front and the uh, back and, or in this case, the, the front here and the back there, if I get it around the right way. And um, so this seems to be something to do with the middle um, and also the angles that these are set on. So what I tend to do if I want to tighten that up in the middle, um, I slacken off all of the guy ropes once I've got it set up and then uh, raise and lower the poles and tilt them back and pull them tight and then you can just tighten in the guy rows, uh, ropes um, but I'm okay with this little bit of a, a bend in the middle um, I might consider modifying um, the tender bit and putting a little uh, pole uh, bit of padding underneath just about uh, maybe a half a metre back or a metre back uh, from each end uh, just to allow me in wet conditions rather than having the pole uh, at the very end uh, just to allow me in wet conditions actually to stick the pole inside and then have this uh, uh, piece here um, come downwards uh, as a shelter uh, part but the intent is really not to um, to use it as I'm using it now um, and of course it's um, cat friendly so uh, Henry here he's been sleeping under here all day he tends to prefer it uh, lower in the lower position that I showed earlier because then he can stretch out full length um, but it gives him uh, good visibility around and um, the smell uh, and for the surroundings and uh, 
it keeps him in the shade so it's kind of like uh, he doesn't have to worry about things above. Uh, not that he does anyway because we don't have any animals like that uh, around here. So, um, so all in all, this is um, the Hilleberg uh, Tarp 5. So just a, a quick um, update here. So the dimensions of the Tarp 5 are 3.5 metres long by 2.15 metres wide and it weighs 320 grams uh, packed up. Uh, so that I think is 10 foot by 7 foot and about 11 ounces in uh, old fashioned um, um, measures. So um, there you have it.